A survey team is trying to estimate the height of a mountain above a level plane. From one point on the plane, they observe that the angle of elevation to the top of the mountain is 25 degrees. From a point 2,000 feet closer to the mountain along the plane, they find that the angle of elevation is 27 degrees. And the question is, how high in feet is the mountain? So I'm going to try to draw a picture to illustrate the, the situation. So here's our level plane. Let's say this is our, our mountain over here. What we want to know is how high is this, so we want to know what is the height of the mountain. So the surveyors, one person views it from a certain distance, and they find that the angle of elevation, which is the angle from the horizontal line of sight up towards the top of the mountain, that angle is uh, 25 degrees. And then they move uh, 2,000 feet closer to the mountain, so as we get closer, then the angle of elevation will increase because if we're closer to the mountain, imagine uh, you're tilting your head upwards. The closer you get to the mountain, the, the further you'd have to tilt your head upwards to see the top. So our angle of elevation here is going to increase. Um, I'm just going to kind of color this in so you can see this is the mountain over here. All right, so then from here, the angle of elevation is slightly larger, 27 degrees. And we're told that this distance is 2,000 feet because they moved 2,000 feet closer. Okay, so we want to find the height of the mountain. I'm assuming here that this is perfectly horizontal and then uh, this would make a 90 degree angle. So we have a right triangle here. Now, there's two triangles I want to... So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to label... Um, this distance here x or whatever variable you want. So first I'm going to look at uh, this smaller right triangle here with this angle 27 degrees um, the opposite side is h the adjacent side is x so using that right triangle I know that uh, tangent of 27 degrees is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side so h over x then I'm going to look at the, the larger right triangle here with the angle 25 degrees. Its opposite side is h, and its adjacent side is this entire length here, which is 2,000 plus x. So tangent of 25 degrees would equal h over 2,000 plus x. Okay, so I have two equations here. Both equations involve h and x. So I have two equations with two unknowns. So I should be able to solve this like a system of equations. What I'm going to do, since my goal is to solve for h, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve one of these equations for x and then plug it into the other equation or substitute into the other equation. So I'm going to solve this by using substitution. So what I'm going to do is with the second equation, I'm going to solve it for x. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x to get x out of the denominator. So you have x tangent of 27 degrees equals h and then I'm going to divide both sides by tangent of 27 degrees to get x equals h divided by tangent of 27 degrees okay so now what I'm going to do since x is equal to this that means anywhere I see an x I can replace it with this so I'm going to substitute this expression here in for h in my other equation. So I will get, or sorry, in for x, not in for h. I'm substituting in for x. So it's going in this denominator here. Okay, so we'll have tangent of 25 degrees equals h divided by 2000 plus whatever x is, which is h over tangent of 27 degrees. And now I have to solve this equation here for h. Let me just lower this a little bit.
Okay, so to solve this equation for h, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm try going to try to get h out of this denominator here. So I'm going to get rid of this fraction by multiplying both sides by this entire denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this by uh, 2,000 plus h over tangent of 27 degrees so that it will cancel on this side. And then on this side I have to multiply by 2000 plus h over tangent of 27. So I'll be left with 2000 plus h over tangent of 27 degrees times tangent of 25 degrees equals h. Okay, and now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the tangent of 25 degrees here and here. So I'll have 2000 tangent of 25 degrees plus h over tangent of 27 degrees times tangent of 25 degrees. Now I'm going to write this as uh, tangent of 25 degrees over tangent of 27 degrees times h. So I can think of it as just a number times h. I could have also just put the tangent of 25 degrees in the numerator here. So I could write it as h times tangent of 25 all over tangent of 27. That's the same as this. Because what I'm really doing here is multiplying by tangent of 25 degrees over 1. So the tangent of 25 degrees would go with the numerator there. But I'm writing it like this. So then what I'm going to do next is here this term is just a constant. This is just a number. I have two terms involving h. So I want these on the same side. So I'm going to subtract tangent of 25 degrees over tangent of 27 degrees h from both sides. So it'll cancel on this side. So on the left side we'll be left with 2000 tangent of 25 degrees equals h minus tangent of 25 degrees over tangent of 27 degrees times h. And by the way, if, if these tangents here bother you, you keep in mind you could just approximate these if you wanted to. You could just do uh, make sure you're in degree mode. You could just do tangent of 25 degrees divided by tangent of 27 degrees and say that's approximately 0.9152 let's say. I wouldn't round it to one or two decimal places though because it's not your final answer so I'd use like at least four maybe five decimal places there. So you could think of this as 1h minus approximately 0.9152h but I'm just going to leave it in this exact form until I'm at the final answer here. Now the trick to solve for h, we need to get from two copies of h down to one. The trick to solving for h here is to factor out an h. So I'm going to, so my goal was to get the h's on one side of the equation and anything that doesn't have an h on the other side because now that every term on this side of the equation has an h, I can factor it out. So if I factor out an h here, I'd be left with just one. And if I factor out the h here, I'd be left with minus tangent of 25 degrees over tangent of 27 degrees. And now we're almost done. Our goal is to solve for h. We have h times some number equals some number. So to solve for h, I just divide both sides by this big ugly number here, which we're calling 1 minus tangent of 25 degrees over tangent of 27 degrees. So if I divide by that on both sides, it'll cancel on the right side. Okay, so we're left with h is uh, 2,000 times the tangent of 25 degrees all over 1 minus the tangent of 25 degrees 
divided by the tangent of 27 degrees. And I'm putting parentheses here where I'll need to put parentheses when I enter this on my calculator to approximate it. So now let's enter this in. So we get 2,000 times tangent of 25 divided by parentheses 1 minus Tangent of 25 divided by tangent of 27, double parenthesis at the end. And so we get that the height of the mountain is approximately 10,995 feet. I'm just going to write down a couple of decimal places, so approximately 0.27. Okay, and I entered that in my answer into the homework, and it looks like they just wanted us to round it to the nearest whole number was fine. They probably would accept it with, with decimals as well, but I just tried to the nearest whole number. Okay, so that completes that problem.